Yes, go on. <laughs> So to show you my next function, which is called axes interlock, I'm, right now I'm gearing two axes together at a one-to-one. -one. And um, this will help me demonstrate the axes interlock function block because that function was designed for applications where, let's say it's a, uh, a gantry that has x and x prime, so two servos running the same mechanical system. And it'll work for either a linear or rotary application. So in the case of a gantry, that's basically set for linear mode typically, where the axes are uh, captivated on slides, maybe run by a ball screw. But we've had, we've had a number of other applications that um, uh, would be rotary mode as well that have two motors that share the same load. And so this function block will work for those applications as well. And uh, what it will do for you is to monitor that both axes are within a position tolerance that you specify and that neither of them has any alarm and give you the status uh, as one Boolean output to tell you that everything is okay with those axes and you're okay to keep them running. So right now I am actually gearing, I am actually moving the master and they are in motion and let me show you the axes interlock monitor function block now. It's just sitting right here. Um, I have to specify both of the axes involved with this mechanical setup. And I specify a tolerance that I want to make sure they stay within. So in my case, uh, these are degrees, so that's a generous 3.5 degrees in, in my case. And if there was any uh, actual position offset to account for, the math will uh, handle that if you have some offset that is known. Um, so right now, this output called locked is telling me that those two axes are within 3.5 degrees and neither of them has any alarm. So they are running. Uh, you can see the deviation kind of fluctuating here about, uh, well, maybe a third of a degree plus and minus because they are in motion right now. And if something were to happen and, and jam one of these axes or there was a fault, this output would immediately drop out and then it's up to the user to decide how to take advantage of this monitor feature. And in my program, uh, let's first see this. I will, I'll jam one of the axes. So that didn't take much at all. I mean, it, as soon as uh, I, I touched the one, the master basically, I, I got more than 3.5 degrees of, of error between the two motors and this output shut off. But what that did for me as well in my program is I use it as an interlock on the axis enable. And so my uh, enable status dropped out for both axes. So they shut down. They do not continue to run if there is something wrong with the position of either axis so you don't cause any mechanical damage. So that's basically what that block can do. Uh, that's, it's a simple, simple feature basically to uh, be used as such.